Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about the next Grand Theft Auto game actually taking place on a console that isn't out right now. So to flash back about a week ago, uh, last Tuesday, there was a huge GTA 6 leak that apparently came out. I'll leave a link to that in the description to give you the too long, didn't read version. Apparently, it's supposed to take place in two locations, Vice City and South America, features the series' first female lead character, and could release as late as 2021 or 2022. So the leak said the game is said to be at least three or four years away, and knowing Rockstar's inability to release a game at its first intended street date, we've seen this with RDR2, GTA 5, GTA 4, they said you shouldn't expect GTA 6 until around 2022. So why is there an update to this story? Well, late last week, a little bit after that story came out, there was some information that came out regarding the next generation consoles. So I'm not sure what these next generation consoles are going to be called. The ones we currently have are the PlayStation 4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, Xbox One X. So this is an article on VG247.com that is PS5 dev kits sent to third-party developers earlier this year. And that, of course, is a rumor. So the article says PlayStation 5 development kits have reportedly already been sent to some third-party studios. Marcus Sellers, an industry insider who has leaked several bits of big news over the past couple weeks, such as Black Ops 4 being this year's Call of Duty, the Nintendo Switch port of Diablo 3, and others has returned with a big one. Most recently, Stellars has also correctly called out the date of this week's Nintendo Direct before it was announced. So needless to say, this guy has been pretty accurate on a lot of findings. Now, it's important to note that most of his findings have yet to been officially confirmed, but the information seems accurate so far, and they were later corroborated by separate reports. So this week, Stellars revealed that development kits for the upcoming PlayStation 5 were sent to third-party studios earlier this year. Now, dev kits are typically PCs or specialized hardware running a specific set of specs that platform holders believe mirror the specs of their upcoming consoles. They don't always match up and the specs can and do change, but they're a close approximation designed to help developers get an idea of what to shoot for uh, when developing their games. Now, a 2018 rollout is a bit earlier than expected, but seeing as sellers specifically mentioned third-party teams, it's safe to assume first-party studios have had them for a while. This could be an early hardware prototype or the real deal, depending on when Sony is planning to start the next generation. Now, a 2019 or 2020 launch for PS5 now seems likely, but this has not been verified, so of course take it with a grain of salt. So with that information right there, it seems very likely that when the next Grand Theft Auto uh, game launches, wh whether it's going to be GTA 6 or Vice City 2, whatever Rockstar has plans to call that game, it's likely going to happen on the PlayStation 5, and I don't even know what to call this, like the Xbox 2 is that what I should accurately call that next console? I'm really not too sure, but that seems to be what's going to happen. Now, I would actually prefer this because when GTA 5 released, it was in a very awkward period. GTA 5 came out on September 17th, 2013, and it came out for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. And then like a month later, the PS4 and the Xbox One came out. So like the only reason I used a Xbox 360 was to play GTA 5. And Rockstar got caught in sort of that weird period of they had already developed the game for the Xbox 360, but then the current generation consoles, what we have right now, were like coming out like a month later. Now eventually they did get to making the game on the uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but it was awkward to have like so many releases of the game. So I would suspect that for the next installment of the GTA series, Grand Theft Auto 6 is just going to come out on PlayStation 5 and it's going to come out on Xbox 2. That is the weirdest thing to say ever. I don't think it will come out on Xbox One or PS4, especially because we've got Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out this fall. And then I think there's a chance there will be a game in between RDR2 and the next GTA series. And then if that story is correct that 2019, 2020 is when we see the next generation consoles, uh, by then we'll be a year or two clear and Rockstar will have no problem releasing it on something like the PS5, etc. So according to that report, knowing that Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive are probably one of the biggest developers and publishers of video games, there's a great chance they already have that PS5 dev kit 
likely Xbox two dev kit, whatever that's going to be called. So I think they already have their hands on that and are likely already working on developing games for those systems. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you make of this whole story and what do you make of the next GTA game? And do you think it's going to be on something like the PS5 or something like that? Anyways, let me know your thoughts, opinions more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.